Okay, a, a word about uh, uh, Muslims and Muslim surveillance. Um, first, the immigration piece. There has been talk of a Muslim ban uh, or, or limits on Muslims coming to the country. Um, this is so blatantly unconstitutional that we think it not even likely to be tried. Uh, in other words, it, there's at least three provisions of the Constitution that would be endangered by saying that we're going to target someone's religion as the basis for rejecting them from entering the country. Uh, much more likely, they will try to do this as a country-based program. It won't say no Muslims. It'll say no one from Saudi Arabia, no one from Pakistan, no one from Iran, no one from Syria. That little refugee boy, he won't get to come here. Even that, we will challenge. If for no other reason than this simple one, we know what Trump's actual intention is because he told us. Right? It would be one thing for, and the Bush administration did this, for an administration in the wake of a terrorist act to target certain countries and say, we're going to have bigger obstacles or we're going to shut down that immigration. They would have an argument in court for this not actually being a program to target Muslims. Trump doesn't have that argument anymore because he told us all to our faces that his plan was to prevent Muslims from coming to the country. Okay, so when we challenge this in court, that's what we're going to say. Uh, and we've got a pretty good argument. We've all seen uh, the record on this one. Um, late, at the end of last year, in December, the Obama administration finally dismantled the program called NSEERS, the National Security Entry and Exit Registration Program. Don't quote me on any of that, but NSEERS, um, which was the program that required uh, men of a certain age from certain Muslim countries to register and submit themselves to interrogations after 9-11 happened. Um, just because they have dismantled that regulation does not mean it cannot be recreated. Of course it can. It'll be a little bit harder, but they could do it. If that comes to pass, uh, our main challenge to that uh, is the way that they carry out the procedures. Um, it is very hard to give notice to all of the people that they want to give notice about that and to have that notice be proper. Uh, and it is, it is very hard to successfully carry it out and ensure that they have interrogations without counsel and, and, all, and all the rest. So we'll challenge all the parts of that. Um, but that is probably the, the likeliest internal immigration program for them to carry out is some version of the entry and exit registration system. And what we can all do as activists to prepare for that and stop that is to make sure that everybody knows their rights with respect to their notice, with respect to talking to law enforcement, and ensure that they get lawyers when it happens. Uh, Finally, on, on surveillance, uh, and this is we, we tag this as Muslim surveillance, but it's surveillance uh, regardless of your religious faith, um, and the, the likelihood is just that they're going to be targeting Muslims. Um, it should not come as a newsflash, this is already happening, right? This was happening before the Trump administration, the targeting of mosques for surveillance by law enforcement authorities. Um, we and other organizations have sued and won when this has happened. If it happens again, we will sue. As long as the federal courts continue to function, we will probably continue to win. So on surveillance, the most important message we have is support the organizations that are litigating these issues. And that's not just a self-plug. The ACLU is doing it, but so is the Brennan Center. Um, so are other good organizations, Muslim advocates, care. Um, and the other piece is a, the sort of digital self-defense, the sort of surveillance self-defense that we started this conversation with. Uh, just as important to share that information with your Muslim friends. If you don't yet have Muslim friends, make them. Now is the time to reach out, right? Now is the time for solidarity. Uh, because we come together before, before the bad things happen, then we're much stronger when they do.